All right, so these days, every time I change the channel, I'm watching different news stations, I'm reading different articles, and there's so many updates on the coronavirus. But do we really need to be worrying about the coronavirus as much as we are? I mean, why are we going crazy? Why does Costco have no toilet paper there? I can't find hand sanitizer. Or you know what, or is there something else that we should be stressing about instead? Is humanity on some sort of countdown leading up to our inevitable extinction as a result of an uncontrollable disease? Well, I don't know. How's it going, you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dowsing, and welcome back to another Most Basic Top 10 video. And I told you guys I'm back. I'm a little bit consistent right now. I'm still not getting asleep with the newborn, but I'm still here filming videos for you guys. So before I get started, I wanna know, what do you guys think will end the world? Let me know in the comment section below. I know a lot of you guys will say the coronavirus. <laughs> and let me know what you guys' thoughts on the coronavirus. Where do you guys live? And has something been shut down because of the coronavirus? Let me know. All right, so let's get right into this video. This is the top 10 scary diseases that can wipe out humans. Kicking things off, and at number 10, we have the Spanish flu. What if it came back? The Spanish flu of 1918 is one of the most well-known pandemics to ever impact the world. And should I say like so far, is the coronavirus gonna outbeat that? I hope not. Well, it was such an aggressive strain that most people who had it perished only a couple days after their symptoms started and many died only a few hours after their symptoms. It wiped out, get this, 50 million people, which was upwards of 3% of the world's total population at the time. Even by today's standards, I mean, that is a lot of people. But if the Spanish flu were to come back today with the same mortality rate, it would wipe out over 225 million people. I mean, that's almost the population of America. Imagine America just disappeared tomorrow. Regardless of the actual probability of the Spanish flu returning with a vengeance, that potential death rate is more than enough to make at least a bit of a concern concern about wiping out humanity. And at number nine is another historical favorite, the bubonic plague. If you thought that the Spanish flu was bad with its 50 million casualties, then you're not ready for this one. Back in the 1300s, when the world's population was around 360 million people, the bubonic plague was responsible for the deaths of at least 75 million people, or a massive 20% of the world's population. Today, a disease with the same impact would wipe out over 1.5 billion people. People. Luckily, with advancements in medicine and technology, there are things that could be done to cure somebody with the bubonic plague today. But I still really wouldn't want it to come back. I'm just picturing people walking around in those old-timey plague masks. Y you know what I'm talking about. And uh, am I seeing some people wearing it in like Costco because of the whole coronavirus? I don't know. I'm seeing a lot of weird articles. But I mean, that imagery is enough to give me nightmares. All right, next up at number eight, we have the Marburg virus. And no, I didn't say Mark Wahlberg. Sounds pretty similar. It's not named after him or anything. But well, while this virus hasn't yet been a widespread or global concern, the symptoms of it are incredibly disturbing to say the least. The first known case of it happened in 1967 and it happened in Germany and Yugoslavia after a shipment of monkeys from Uganda arrived with over half of them arriving dead of a mysterious disease transmitted by fruit bats. Soon after, some of the men who were handling the monkeys started to get sick with flu-like symptoms and muscle aches. These symptoms ended with the patients bleeding from random parts of their body and their skins literally peeling off. Is this real life right now? Absolutely insane. While the Marburg virus doesn't currently pose much of a threat to the world as a whole, with only around 500 cases reported since 1960, it does have a mortality rate of 80 to 90 percent. That would almost wipe out the entire world. So I can only imagine what would happen if the virus were to become a global pandemic. Taking the number seven slot is yes. Uh, let's just include it. Let's talk about the coronavirus or more specifically COVID-19. We've all heard of it by now. And if you haven't, I don't know where you're from. And a lot of the world is terrified by it. And while I'm not personally confident that it's gonna wipe out the entire world, I'm, I'm really hoping not, it has been spreading pretty rapidly. So how could I not include it on this list? The origin of COVID-19 is still a little bit murky, but what we do know for a fact is that it first traced back to a seafood market in Wuhan 
Wuhan, China, and as of today, as of the time of this recording, over 114,000 people have been infected, and it's claimed the lives of over 4,000 people. It has been spreading rapidly, with whole cruise ships and even entire countries of Italy being put on lockdown in an attempt to contain the virus, and also NBA stadiums. NBA stars might be playing with no fans in the stadium. I'm pretty sure the NHL has already done that in San Jose. San Francisco's on lockdown. The initial symptoms start out being pretty minor and easily mistaken for a cold or a flu, but severe cases can lead to pneumonia, bronchitis, kidney failure, and worse, even death. With all of that being said, the CDC says that the best ways to protect yourself is to wash your hands, cover your nose when you sneeze, cover your mouth when you cough, and don't buy all the hand sanitizers off the shelf because other people have to wash their hands as well for us to get rid of the coronavirus. There's no point of you stocking up on hand sanitizer when other people need it, so don't do it. And hopefully we start seeing the COVID-19 fade away soon. I don't wanna see the number keep increasing. I wanna see the number start to decrease. And at number six is antibiotic resistant E. coli. Medical experts have been trying to warn us for a very long time that we've been overusing antibiotics in animals and human medicine and that it might come back to bite us. Well, it looks like they might have been onto something. We hear about E. coli every so often, like don't buy lettuce because it has E. coli. Well, the overuse of these antibiotics have made some bacteria evolve to the point that many of them are becoming resistant to any known antibiotics. So antibiotics might be working now, but they may not be working in the future. In fact, back in 2017, over 20,000 people died of untreated infections because of the bacteria that have become too resistant to fight off. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I've been hearing about more and more E. coli contaminations in food and bodies of water. So I wouldn't actually be surprised if it was the next main bacteria to become immune to antibiotics. And once that happens, who knows how long it would take for E. coli to spread to different methods methods of contaminating humans. Next up, number five is something entirely unknown. In all reality, the disease that wipes out humanity could very well likely be something that we all absolutely know nothing about. And this makes it all more terrifying. Scientists are saying that the next big pandemic virus will likely come from animals and they'll be able to replicate and mutate quickly enough that it will be hard for us to keep up with. I mean, there's not much we can do other than to trust WHO or the CDC to do everything that we can to try to stop it. But in the meantime, the one thing everyone can do is wash your hands. Pause this video right now. Go wash your hands with soap. Don't use hand sanitizer. That stuff just dries up your skin and you don't really need it. Our number four slide goes to tuberculosis. Now, when people think of tuberculosis, they usually think of the old photos of iron lungs. Well, at least I do. People often think that it's something that was in the past that we don't have to worry about anymore. Well, they may want to think again because back in 2018, which was just a few years ago, there were approximately 10 million cases of TB recorded worldwide. To this day, it remains one of the top 10 causes of death. Luckily, there are now cures and ways to prevent tuberculosis, and the reported cases are dropping around 2% annually. So it's not increasing, which is what we like to see. I mean, this is all great news, but the symptoms are what's keeping me a bit on edge about the thought of another TB pandemic. Symptoms include chest pain, weakness, weight loss, and most terrifying of all, coughing up blood. I mean, that's pretty scary. I've seen enough TV shows and movies to know that coughing up blood is never a good sign. So I don't even know what to do if I saw someone started coughing up blood. I would just be panicking, call 911, I'd be freaking out. All right, coming in number three is the swine flu. Now, a lot of us have heard of this. Well, you know what? Unless you're really young, then you may not have heard about the swine flu, but I think you probably did. This was a pandemic in 2009. Unlike most flu viruses, the swine flu largely affected children over the age of five and young adults, while others usually impact young children and the elderly. Symptoms would include normal things that you would find with the flu, such as chills, a fever, coughing, a stuffy nose, body aches, fatigue. So it really was hard to diagnose unless you got a special test done. By the time the pandemic was declared over in August 2010, the swine flu had affected 20% over the world's population. And while the death rate was only 0 0.02, well, this was still over 200,000 lives that were lost as a result. Knowing that flus constantly evolve and mutate, it, it makes me kind of scared to think about what 
what may happen if there was another swine flu outbreak. It would come back more aggressively and uh, it can easily wipe out millions of people as it evolves and becomes more powerful and resistant to medication. Next up, number two is Ebola. Ebola is one of the viruses that seems to never take a break. It goes away, but then you hear about it again. One of its biggest outbreaks happened in West Africa and the United States about five years ago and it killed over 11,000 people. Cases of Ebola kept popping up mostly in countries in Africa and with a 90% fatality rate, it is very dangerous and crucial to keep contained. Symptoms sound incredibly painful with regular flu symptoms in addition to internal and external bleeding as a result of the virus limiting your blood's ability to clot. Any disease with a 90% fatality rate makes the possibility of human extinction seem somewhat realistic so I'm really hoping that Ebola soon decides that its time is done. And finally rounding off our list in at number one is ancient viruses. I mean we're talking about global warming. The cause of rising sea levels, natural disasters and ancient viruses being released from their millenniums long slumbers as a result of melting permafrost. Yeah that's right we may have a whole new slew of viruses to deal with because of ice. Researchers have already found DNA from a virus that existed 30,000 years ago and while the specific one may not pose a threat to humans it definitely supports the possibility of there being a deadly virus is waiting to be freed. When this happens who's to say how easily they'll be transmitted and what their fatality rate will be. If we've never dealt with anything similar to it before it's possible that scientists will have no idea where to even begin with creating a cure for it. So who knows what sort of disasters it will cause. Honestly I can't think of anything more terrifying than humanity being wiped out by disease that's been trapped in ice for thousands of years. It sounds like a movie to me. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 scary diseases that can wipe out humans. Let me know what you guys thought. Did I miss any? Should I make a part two? Let me know in the comment section below. Well, I was your host for this one, Landon Dallas, and I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video. Mm -hmm.